welcome to the MIP Drama Screenings here at Cannes. I'm going to give you a peek at this brand new event aimed at curating the best new scripted content premiering here at MIP TV. The all-star jury of showrunners and program creators chose 12 high-end international dramas for the MIP Drama official selection. Submissions were accepted from 28 countries across the world, the United States, Europe, Latin America, and Asia. Hey, Julianne, how's it How going? Doing? So here we are again at MIP Drama Screenings. It's the first break, and I have with me a buyer who's going to tell me a bit about her impressions so far. Hi, who are you, and what are you looking for? Okay, my name is Özlem Mösümbül, and I'm Head of Sales and Acquisition of Canal D for Turkey. What kind of things are Turkish audiences used to seeing? Do they like love and drama, big emotional stories? Full with love, and also with drama with the family. Family is the most important thing for our audience. All right, we'll be back. This is how it works. The showrunner or creator of the new drama series has five minutes to pitch their story. Then they'll show a clip, 15 to 20 minutes, to the audience. Who are they? 360 buyers from around the world. Where are you from? Uh, from Lebanon. I'm from Italy. I'm from Denmark. I work for Basque Television in Spain. I'm from Miami, actually, Florida. Finland. I'm from Italy. I'm from Finland, from Helsinki. Italy. But you just saw a whole bunch of things. Was there anything that really surprised you that you liked? More than one thing, actually. The secret which we saw last was uh, really interesting. The Spanish uh, series, one of the series we saw earlier today. We have quite a good uh, few selections, I think, for this year. I saw so many great shows, so I'm very excited. Exactly the right moment before MIP uh, starting. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's a good idea. The screening it was an impressive level. A very, very good shows. This is the first time. It's just one day for 12 shows, so... We can just see a trailer and also a compacted episode. The level here is, is, is high and that, that is the sort of drama that, that our drama slots look for. So it's important this confrontation between European countries. It's a great opportunity to see so many different shows from all around the world. I thought the drama was really, really um, high quality, really strong, really varied, very different genres, fresh, um, almost impossible to find a winner in a way because every, everyone was, it seemed very strong. So, yeah, it was, a, it was a good day. Could you say the name of the winner and why you chose it again? Uh, we chose Public Enemy um, because we felt it was brave, that it was strong, that it was fresh, that it had twists and turns, the characters looked compelling, um, and we'd all watch it, which I think is, you know, when it boils down to it, buyers are TV uh, fans when it boils down to it. So you have to pick the one that you would watch and you think will travel, and it feels like something that would travel. The buyers decide which series wins the top prize, the MIP Drama Screenings Buyer's Choice Awards 2016. Um, uh, the prize uh, goes to Public Enemy. Public Enemy! Congratulations, you're the winner of this first MIP drama screenings. Um, did you expect this? The level of the show screened today was so high. And uh, we came from so far, I mean, in terms of budget and uh, schedule with our show, that we didn't expect it at all. We have a sadly notorious um, serial killer in Belgium uh, named Marc Dutroux. We thought this is a tremendous... Um, dramatic situation for characters, for strong characters. It's like um, a bomb ready to explode, this situation. It's quite a new way for uh, Belgian TV shows, actually, because we don't have an history in TV shows in Belgium, in French-speaking Belgium, I mean. And uh, it's quite new for us, so um, 
so it's just um, just the beginning, I, I suppose, of a new generation of writers and directors. Well, it's incredible. It's um, it's like in Disneyland here. Actually, it's uh, everywhere. There's a uh, big uh, posters and uh, wallpapers uh, of TV shows and stuff. It's uh, it's amazing. Yeah.